Welcome back to channel everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk about how you can submit your MS form response to your email ID using Power Automate. By default, MS form has the functionality to send an email notification to either the person who has created this particular form or the person who respond to this particular form. If I go in my form setting, in the notification there we have two options. The person who respond to this particular form and the person who is actually the owner of this particular form and how these uh, notifications look like when you get this this is how it's look like view my response once you click on this it will take you to ms form where you can see the response we have submitted this is the one all right but in some cases we have requirement wherein uh, you're creating this form for either your stakeholder or either any of your you know line of business you are creating it and in that case they want all the response to be sent to a specific email id it could be a, it could be your manager it could be your you know stakeholder anyone to whom you want to send this uh, customized email so let's just talk about that how we can do that i'll go in my power automate and try to create a new flow from the instant flow I'll skip this option, name my flow as in form to email, form to email, select MS form, trigger point will be when the form response is submitted, select your form ID as in form name, in my case it is feedback form, as you can see this. And the next step is form, get response detail, again select your feedback form here, you can select your form name, response ID will be list of response notification response ID. Once you perform this step, you will have all the response field available with you. And now I have to select Outlook, action is send an email, and two, you can specify any of the custom email ID you want to send this particular email. I'm selecting mine and one of my colleague as well, and uh, subject line will be a new A new response from either you can select from the field your full name or you can select as well as the email ID and now I'll have to your full name has responded And uh, here you can specify the proper format. So I'll have, I'll select all these. I'll paste all the question here, which I have created, and uh, against them I will select the dynamic content. And your full name I'll be selecting. Uh, your full name, your contact number will be your contact number, date of attendance will be date of attendance, which training you attended, was it helpful, how likely you rate and prefer training time. Now we have our uh, email template ready. So that way you will have all the response in your email itself. You don't have to just go here and click and see this into your MS form. You'll have all the data available with you in your email ID as well. I'll save this one and uh, now I will 
submit my form let's suppose I put the name Mike and select the date perhaps yes helpful say evening time is good for me submit this one and uh, we'll see in our I got an email here saying that uh, Mike has responded your full name Mike all the details that we have submitted in our form has been all the response we have submitted through form is now in my email so this is the easiest way you can actually send all the response to specific email IDs and uh, analyze so the next step is for every response now I'll get a different emails for every new response so what I want is I should have a consolidated email wherein I have all the response a user has submitted in a day so it could be 10 or 15 so that I'll achieve using a, a power automate as well in my next video where I'll submit all the response to an excel file and then I'll email that excel file to my mail id I hope you like this video if you do like then don't forget to subscribe learn and tech thank you so much for watching